Chapter 5 Making of the Constitution In the previous chapter, we studied what political science is. We have studied subject matter and importance of political science in that chapter. Now, we will discuss how the Constitution is made and who makes it. We will discuss the fundamental objectives of the Constitution of India. Introduction To understand the meaning of the term Constitution, we can take the example of the game of football. The football match consists of two teams. The two teams consisting of players play the game. There are referees. The stadium with the supporters of both the teams and spectators is also part of the game. They support and cheer up the team or players. Now, think of the most important factor in the game of football. Is it the player or the referee or the spectators? Who is having the final authority to take the decision? One may point out the referee. But the referee or the empire will take the decision which is based on the rules of the game. The referee cannot decide without referring to the rules. The rules and regulations of the game is the most important factor in any game. Just imagine any game without rules. No one will be able to play a game without rules. In the same manner, the country functions with the help of the rules. There are many rules necessary for the functioning of the country. This set of rules is known as the Constitution. Our school has many rules for the students. Are there any rules for the teachers and the principal? A. What is Constitution? Constitution is the fundamental law of the country. All other laws are subordinate to the Constitution. Constitution is an instrument which helps in the working of government. It is a framework within which all organs of the government work. Constitution helps the nature of relationship between the citizens and the government of the country. It also defines the relationship of the citizens amongst themselves. The Constitution gives powers to the government and, at the same time, set the limitations to use these powers. The provision for the rights of the people and the duty What is Constitution? B. Need of the Constitution Constitution lists fundamental rights of citizens. So, each individual gets clear idea about his or her rights. Constitution explains structures of government and nature of legislatures, executives, judiciary as well as local governments. Procedure of decision and policy making is included in the Constitution. Means of control over the government are also explained in the Constitution. Therefore, Constitution is a very important document in the functioning of government. In which situations the need of the Constitution arises? After socio-political revolution, example, Russia, China, when people refuse to accept the foreign rule, that is, most of the Afro-Asian countries, when a nation is created by smaller political units coming together, USA, when a state is created by division of a country in two or more states, Bangladesh, USSR. C. Constituent Assembly of India The Constitution of India was framed by a Constituent Assembly. It was set up under the Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946. The British government had divided India into various provinces for the purpose of administration. At the same time, some of the states in India were governed by princes and were known as princely states. At the beginning, 
the Constituent Assembly of India consisted of 389 members. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was chairperson of Constituent Assembly. Under his chairmanship, first meeting of Constituent Assembly was held on December 9, 1946. After partition of India, the number of members were reduced to 299. 229 from provinces and 70 from princely states. To formulate the constitution, the Constituent Assembly appointed 22 committees. These committees submitted reports on the basis of which a draft of the constitution was prepared. The drafting committee under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar prepared the draft of the constitution. The draft constitution was published in February 1948. After considering the suggestions and after careful discussion, the constitution was adopted on November 26, 1949. It took two years, eleven months and eighteen days to complete the constitution of India. It was decided to formally enforce the constitution from 26th January 1950. Who was chairperson of constituent assembly? Who was chairperson of drafting committee? Important committees of the constituent assembly. Committee, drafting committee, chairperson Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Advisory committee on fundamental rights. Chairperson, Vallabhai Patel. Union Powers Committee. Chairperson, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. D. Preamble. The preamble to the Constitution of India is an introductory statement. It tells us about the values and philosophy of the Constitution. The preamble refers to the objectives to be achieved for the overall development of India. It is considered as the key to understand our constitution. It is based on the objectives resolution presented by Nehru in Constituent Assembly. Parts of the Preamble First, Source of Authority We the People of India Second, Fundamental ideals or objectives A. Justice B. Liberty C. Equality D. Fraternity E. Unity and integrity of the nation Third, Nature of the policy A. Sovereign B. Socialist C. Secular D. Democratic E. Republic Fourth, Date of Adoption 26th November 1949 Fifth, Date of Actual Implementation of the Constitution 26th January 1950 Activities Find out whether your school has a constitution of its own Approach a political party in your locality Get a copy of their rule book and read it Find out more about the members of the Constituent Assembly. Find out in details different committees of the Constituent Assembly. Display collection of photographs and short notes on the members of the Constituent Assembly. How many women members did the Constituent Assembly have? Try to collect more information about them. Get a copy of Indian Constitution. Prepare constitution of your class. Why haven't we started implementation of the constitution on 26th of November when it was adopted? Question 1. Answer in brief. First, what is sovereignty? Second, what is secularism? Third, what is republic? Fourth, what is democratic republic? Fifth, what is equality? <laughs>